How's it going guys? Welcome to Agent Development. Today I'm going to talk about how to set up services on your business Facebook page as well as how to set up your page to allow customers to book appointments with you online. Let's get right to it. Alright guys, here we are at my business Facebook page. As you can see, if you scroll down, these are my services. I've had these listed on here for quite a while, but these go hand in hand with uh, setting up making appointments on your business page. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the settings tab up here on the upper right hand side and go ahead and click that. When we get into the settings here on the left column, you'll see down here it says appointment settings. That's where we're going to click. Now once we're in here, this big red square is a tutorial. So this, if you were to click get started, this will walk you through an easy setup for setting up how to make appointments on your business Facebook page. However, uh, if you've already done this at some point in time, this will not show up. It'll actually show up uh, looking more like this here. I just turned down appointments, so now it's now it's gonna show up like this. So I know some people, they've already uh, started the process, but they haven't completed it. Uh, they're not gonna have that red box there. So let's just cut straight to the manual setup. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this is set to the correct time zone. If for some reason it's not, you'd click change, put in your city, put in Minneapolis, and it will change uh, to the correct time zone. Next, we have available appointments. This is the times that you are available. I just turned mine on, so these are the default, but I'm going to want to change these. So one thing I'll do here is maybe I'll leave Sunday unchecked because Sundays are for my open houses and uh, to meet with, uh, you know, maybe to meet with uh, clients uh, by, a, by manual appointment only. Um, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll leave uh, Saturday off some days because I want to, you know, spend time with my family and have uh, those manual appointments, uh, you know, that I've scheduled with people for Saturdays. And then Monday through Friday, you know, we'll select some realistic times here. You know, we might want to go you know, maybe starting at about 9 a.m. We can go to, you know, for me, really, it's, it's it, I shouldn't say 9 p.m. I should say, um, you know, let's say like 1 p.m. And then what you can do is you can add another. So say you wanted to take a lunch break at 1 or something, you could then go to and you could put this to like 8 p.m. or something like that. So, you know, I'm available from 9 to 1. Then I have a, a break in there and then I'll be available from two to eight. So you can you can do this however you want. You can put whatever times you want. Maybe you only want to take appointments in the afternoon or, or in the evening. Save that. So, you know, of course I would do this to all the different time slots, but let's just go ahead and save that. Then here's where you have the option to sync it with your Google Calendar. So I have already done this, turn this on. Then you just put in your Google information uh, and then it gives you the opportunity to sync, sync it with your Google Calendar. Here you get to select which calendars you want to sync. So for me, it would just be my personal one, not these family ones. Click Save, Appointment Approval. So if you turn this on, uh, you have the option to approve the appointment. So if this is turned off like it is right now, What's going to happen is, is people can schedule appointments and it just shows up on your calendar. So I'm always going to have this turned on because then it's going to send me a request via email and via text message and it gives me the option to either request a different time or approve the appointment. In our business, we do not want double booking turned on here because of course we can't have uh, be in two places at once so I have mine turned off. And then here under uh, advanced bookings, what this is, it gives you the option to uh, make it so people can't schedule short notice uh, appointments. So for me here, maybe I'd put like two hours, you know, and then they can't now, the way that this is sitting right now, they can't book appointments uh, further out than six months. I don't think anyone's booking an appointment with us uh, six months later. So maybe we just put like, I don't know, it can, it, it, it can be a conservative number, but six months was, was kind of high. So I'll save that there. So now it's gonna, no one's gonna be able to book an appointment within two hours of trying to book the appointment, and they're not gonna be able to go any further out than three months. So this, this option down here, this appointment start time, this is gonna give us the uh, option of deciding if we want our appointments to be like 15, 30, or 60 minute increments. 
I like to choose the 60 minute increments. I, t I tend to think that my appointments are about 45 to 60 minutes long. So this makes sense for me. And then we get down here to our services. So I've already put my services in. I did talk about this when I did my Facebook training a few months back uh, to make sure that you have services in on your business Facebook page. For me, I have the buyer consultation, I have the comparative market analysis. Both of them, I have them uh, set for one hour and they are considered free services. If for some reason you guys can think of another service that you could offer, you can then go into here and you can add that service. It's pretty self-explanatory. You set a price, you set a name, describe what the service is, how long you need to do it, and then you can uh, set up to block extra time. So say um, you, know, you want an extra 30 minutes between appointments to get from appointment A to appointment B, you can select that, and then you can include a picture and then it will it will show up uh, just like this. Appointment uh, reminders. So this is going to send out a reminder uh, to the person who scheduled the appointment, just to remind them that they have an appointment. And then follow up messages is going to uh, send them a message uh, through Messenger when the appointment is over. So I have mine turned off because I like to do that stuff manually. But if you guys wanted an automatic message to go out to your clients as soon as they're done with the appointment with you, then you could go ahead and turn this on. So appointment notifications, I got my Facebook on and I got my text messages on just to ensure that when somebody schedules an appointment with me, I do not miss that, uh, I do not miss that notification. All right, guys, so now we have that set up. Let's take a look at what this is going to look like for the consumer when they book an appointment with you. So I'm just going to get back to my business page. This is what the consumers are going to see when they uh, go to your page and then they're going to be able to click the, the button here that says book now. I'm just going to do a quick test to show you guys what this is going to look like. If it's a buyer, they're going to select buyer consultation. If they want to know what their house is worth, they're going to select whatever option you have for a service that tells them what their house is worth. In my case, it's the comparative market analysis. Click continue. If they wanted to meet with me today, these are the time slots that I, I have available for this service. Let's just select a random time slot just to show you what it looks like. Now they have the option of putting their phone number in. It's going to be the date, the start time, uh, their uh, phone number, and then they can leave a note. Request the appointment. And now it's done on their end. As you can see here down in the corner, because I did request the appointment with myself, this is what the message looks like on my desktop that I have uh, the appointment requested by consumer. All right, now you guys know how to set up your Facebook business page to allow for online appointments. Uh, next, I wanna show you guys what it looks like when you receive that appointment notification on your phone, uh, both through the Facebook app as well as through text message notifications. So, uh, I'm gonna pull out my phone here, and then this is what it's gonna look like through the app. You will receive the notification, and then there you have it. It's gonna say uh, either you can approve the appointment or you can update the time in the appointment. Through text message notification, it's gonna look like this. It's just gonna say, uh, you have a new appointment request from Facebook. Uh, you can confirm it or propose another time. So when I click on this link, it's gonna take me to the browser version of my Facebook page, and it's going to allow me to uh, either confirm this appointment or uh, request a change here. So if I hit confirm, all right, it's been confirmed. It's now in my Google Calendar. You guys know how to get a hold of me if you have any questions. And remember, we do agent development every Thursday from 11 to 11.45 a.m. I will see you guys next week.